This is the fullback, Knox, and he cannot get. They've gone up the middle twice. They try it again, and Roland is not in there. They stop him again. Fourth down. Cooper over the middle to Jamari Hester, and there's one of those big plays for the Gamecocks. Hester all the way down inside the 24, Bryant Wallace. And the kick is away, and he gets it through there. So the Gamecocks do get on. total rushing in an entire game. Cooper's pass is caught by Josh Pearson and Pearson, good yardage after the catch. Pearson in motion, they give it to him on the jet sweep, he cuts it back up inside and Pearson taking off. Here comes the blitz, Cooper gets the pass away to West and he's gonna have the first down. Fox operate from the right hash, here is West. Big hole, spins his way down. Cooper goes for Pearson and it's a touchdown, so just like that. Jacksonville State makes the Tigers pay for the turnover, get their first touchdown of the game. Wallace with the extra point, and it's good. Both sides. See if the Gamecocks can convert. Cooper. Finds a wide open Josh Pearson. That's just 42. So the Gamecocks putting together a good drive here late in the first half. Cooper fakes, looking deep. Stepherson there, he's got it. Did he hold on? Yes, touchdown Jacksonville State. What a nice throw. This young man, Roland. Go to him again and it football not loose. And Jacksonville State's on it, so Tennessee State. Remaining, JSU has their full allotment of three. Cooper gets the pass away. Pearson's got it, retreats, but then goes forward and picks up the first down out of second and 10. Cooper steps up. Now he'll run it, slide down at the 30. Cooper goes down the middle. Daniel Bird able to haul it in at the Tennessee State 39 and the Gamecocks quickly. Tigers only rush four, pass down the field. Stepherson is wide open, slips down inside the 10. And they begin it on the ground with Zarek Cooper. On the quarterback keep, you've kind of been walking down and 10. Matthews right up the middle, almost broke that one. Somebody got him by the shoe. Thirty-pound back, and they give it to him, and he's not going to get there. Marlon Bridges denies. Cooper goes over the middle to Pearson. And Pearson comes all the way across the field. Cooper throws for Pearson. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. Wow, did Cooper ever put this right?
second on third down in the game. Rosendahl gets the pass away, but a great tackle in the two in the league. A win here tonight is a must if they want to keep their hopes alive. Cooper puts it in the air on first down, and Jamari Hester catches it, then takes some. Cooper hits Hester. Another nice gain on first down. Matthews gets the call again, and he's going to have himself a touchdown, and it's deservingly so because Matthews comes. Pass downfield, in. Third and three. They hand it to Matthews. And Matthews has the first down, and that should seal the deal. You know, great to get to win. I mean, I thought, uh, you know, we did things in the game to, um, you know, win the game. We made a lot of mistakes. Uh, we got better as the game went on. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, we were ready to play. Had a great week. So I don't think had to do anything that we wasn't ready to play. They just come out and played really well. And I kind of knew that. I prepare our guys for that. They're, I guarantee, the best one in four team you'll ever see. So they got a good, they're so explosive offensively. And, uh, you know, it, it really took us about three drives into the game to catch up with the speed and um, start playing better up front. And, you know, you get out of your gap just a little bit with number three and he's gone, you know. So I, I think as the game went on, we kind of adjusted to it and uh, I knew they were going to come out really emotional and, you know, really play well early. And they did that and we kind of withstood that. And in the first quarter, as badly as we had played um, in, in spurts giving up big plays, we, we played pretty good in the red zone. And, um, you know, we I think as the game went on, we were able to win the line of scrimmage. You know, we, we were able to run the ball some. And you know we were able to shot, stop them and make them punt some, so it was a, it was a good thing. Um, I think we got better tonight and got to continue to do that. Though. I mean, I think um, the difference in games three turnovers for sure. You know, getting the two turnovers in the red zone and then you know we got one in our red zone was able to you know cash in. I thought uh, yeah, I wish we could have scored on the one fumble we had right there for half. We got to do a better job of handling that situation. We did an outstanding job of getting the ball down there and then you get it, come up empty to get paid for getting it down. Or we got to get get the ball in the end zone there. Or, you know. Go one more play and kick a field goal would have been nice. But uh, like I said, take your hat off Coach Reed. You know, they had a good good game plan. They come in and played well. And I uh, thought that they played better defensively tonight than they played all year. You know, and that's probably been their, their problem is not scoring in the red zone and, and defensively giving up a lot of points. So I thought they played really well there because we did not play that bad offensively. I thought we played pretty good at times offensively. And a few things you like to have back here and there. But um, excited about the win. and. You know, you get back to even in um, in the conference play, and you got to move on and get ready to play a EIU on the road. So I think this is a conference anybody can beat anybody at any time. So you got to be ready to play. I do definitely. I, I have no. You know, we had a lot of energy. We were ready to play. I, I think our defensive guys are kind of shell shocked uh, how good they are offense. They got some playmakers. He's the reason why number three leads the country on offense. I mean, he's he's that good. You know, he could play on about any team. You know, uh, and around. So he's he's an explosive player, and they they do a really good job. He's so versatile in what he does because uh, he's a really good receiver. Uh, really good running back, and they do a good job of moving him around and, and getting him the football. And uh, like I said, they're always so good up front offensive line-wise, and they were that as well. And he's not the only guy they got either. They got other receivers. Number one's a really good player, and I thought their um, 
the quarterback played really well. You know, I mean, I think he does a good job of getting the ball, you know, to those guys as well. So we've been a good football team now. I know their record. People say, well, I don't know, one in five now. They're not a good football. Well, yeah, they are. They're they're a good football team and really capable of beating anybody left on their schedule. You know, and uh, like I said, I, I think I'm proud of our guys for for how we played, how we rebounded, and getting off to the 17-0 start and coming and fighting back. Yeah, I think so, and I think you got to play through it. I have no no reservations. These guys are going, you know, play hard and finish games. That's that's not our issue, you know. I mean, you know, fact of life a little bit too is that everybody else has got players and everybody else is well coached, you know. So everybody's going to make plays, and you got to play through the game. Now we're we're still so young in spots. Uh, we've got some injuries that we got to get folks keep folks on the field and get them back on the field and. Anytime you you lose guys, it kind of changes your football team, and uh, you got to adjust to that next guy up mentality. And uh, so I think our guys fought tonight, and it, it was a physical football game. As you're down on sidelines, you've seen that it was a very physical football game. A lot of, a lot of hard hits out there on both sides. I think he'll be back next week. It's not like Cam Hills where he's got to have surgery on it. We dodged a bullet there. I mean, it uh, was close to high ankle. It was not. So, ligament didn't need surgery. So, he should be back next week. You know, we've let him rest this week, stay in the boot, and uh, hopefully get him back next week. That's kind of where, you know, no off week in October kind of hurts you a little bit. You need, you need a couple weeks some of these guys to get healed up a little bit, and you just don't have that. And we're not going to kind of change the way we practice. We'll just practice what we can and, and get ready. But, uh, I thought practice went really well this week. We've got to continue that. Yes, he could have went back in the game. Like I said on radio, as so Josh says, I don't know if training staff let him go back in, but he, he thought he could go back in. So that made me feel better about him. Uh, kind of a little both, I think. I think he's more, more, more neck than anything. A couple, couple tough you know, shots he took. I mean, it really, the other guy, he took it to the chest. The other guy took the blunt of that. It knocked that guy out. I mean, he was, he was out for sure. And I, the other one was target, you know, close to target. I mean, it was a close call. I have to go look back at it and see on film. I know they reviewed it and everything, but he, he did take a shot in the head. She, Huge. I, I think defensively, uh, that was the key of the game. You know, causing the turnovers. You get two big turnovers down there, and you get stops and get off the field and holding them field goals. I mean, that was that was truly the difference in the game. And we weren't pleased first half with. Yeah, we got down there a few times and didn't get the ball in the end zone. Well, we made a field goal, missed a field goal, and you got to cash in, you got to get, you know, touchdowns, especially when you play in a team like that. And I thought, turn the ball over right there for half, it was three other opportunities we could have scored in the first half, it would have made a big difference, I think. Um, early in the week, you essentially challenged your team to play for Definitely, definitely. Now, in the beginning of the first quarter, I was like, well, I don't know if it paid off or not. But, but uh, you know, I, I kind of attributed it to, you know, they're pretty good up front. And we got off a few gaps and gave up some long runs and um, just wasn't able to, when it got space, we, we didn't tackle very well, you know, once the guy got in space. But as the game went on, you really could see the focus that we had on practicing physical and being more physical. Because uh, I think as the game went on, we was able to, you know, still make the line of scrimmage, maybe even win the line of scrimmage as the game went on. Because you take it in the first quarter, we had, I mean, well, we had 52 yards of offense and they had 200 and something, you know, and uh, you look from that point on, we had about 400 yards of offense and, you know, kind of slowed them down a little bit, slowed them down enough. And uh, like I said, that, one of the keys to that was being able to win the physical battle up front. You guys ran the ball better today. Was, was that a it was. I mean, I, th I think our offensive line was embarrassed how they played last week, and they knew they had to get better and had a really good week of practice. You had guys like Darius Anderson, and, you know, he's hobbled up, you know, got a bad knee, and, uh, you know, he practiced on it all week, did not miss a practice, you know, didn't miss any reps, and then, you know, he's sitting there and battles through it tonight and plays. So those guys are, you know, they're, um, they're, they're getting better. I thought Slocum stepped in and played well. You know, Butler's Butler was kind of out. Butler could have played a little bit tonight, but he Slocum stepped in at center and, you know, played really well. And uh, I think that helped us. Uh, what you got? You got one? Yeah. Uh, you know, like once again tonight, we saw you got uh, your 
Well, I mean, I think you got to just play it on the road. You really do. But you, OVC play, you got to expect everybody to come out and play their A game against us. I, I think Tennessee State did it tonight. I mean, I think that's why we got down 17 to nothing at home and was able to rebound. Now, I think we got to adjust on the road and, and play through that a little bit better. We've we've not handled, you know, that really well uh, the the two times on the road. You know, last, last week, you know, we. Yeah, you know, we start doing a little bit better, and then we have the right four half. The, the about five six minutes was really bad with the two turnovers, and then start the second half we didn't do really well. And then, you know, we kind of finished the game, play better in the fourth quarter. But uh, I do think we got to adjust on the road, and I don't know if it's a on the road thing or on, at home. I know we are different at home just because our environment. Our environment's really good, and you know we got a good game day and uh, a good crowd and a good band and all those things. You go on the road, you you don't have that, and uh, I think we do have to. Because uh, everybody's going to come out and play really good. There's no doubt. I mean, it's kind of like Austin P. Coach said after the game, and I mean, last week, so they've been working on it since January. You know, we're, we're, we're circling on everybody's board. And our older guys kind of understand that. Our younger guys, I think they understand it now. You know, I mean, if you don't play an A game, you ain't got a chance to win. Like last week, we probably played C minus game, and they played their A game, and they beat the crap out of us. So, uh, you got to play your A game with you on the road or at home. But hopefully, we'll do better with that next week because we got some tough road games down the line too. So we got some more, you know, good home games, but we got some tough road games. It's going to be we got to play better in for sure. And that starts this week with EIU. You know, it's a flight, plane flight, longest trip in our. Uh, thank gosh, we fly. You know, longest trip in our deal, and it's it's a tough place to play, and yeah, it's a. 12 o'clock kick. We played three night games. Uh, you know, earliest we've kicked off, I think, is three, right, Josh? So kicking off at uh, 12, we're usually in meetings or walkthroughs. Just finish them up, you know, like today. So what is, it'll be a quick turnaround. You know, you'll get up there and you'll do your meetings at night, and you'll get up at morning, and you'll be rolling. You'll be eating a pregame meal at about 8 o'clock. So it's, it's a different morning there. I think that's going to be a bigger adjustment than. Add that with the on the road deal is going to be be tough.